came up with a number. But it's not the number. Done eating we were our first time, we're like, we're going to get yeah, out. We're like, okay. <laughs> place in Florence and it is so cute yes, yes. these are our rooms we have our own bedroom each this is mine and attics very cute then we have our own bathroom as well and I shower down there and down the hall Lisa and Nikita are there they have their own nice bathroom and their room hi kids We haven't been here since 2013. 2013 and we were just there for like a half day but Attic did see Florence just for a little bit and now Nikita and Lee are here. Say hi! You don't even know really how good, good this is. So guys, this is the Basilica di Santa Croce. And Michelangelo is buried in here. Galileo Galilei and Machiavelli. Just to name a few amazing minds and artists who are in here. Resting in peace. So we're just walking around Florence a bit. Nikita has never been, so we're kind of just going through all like the main stomping grounds and just enjoying it. It's actually nice now because the sun is gone. We needed a little bit of shade because it is much hotter here than it was in Bellagio, that's for sure. So we have dinner at 8.30, so we're just kind of taking our time and just exploring the city a little bit before dinner. We went to Vivoli for their infamous gelato and it is so delicious. Yummy! So nice, we ate it twice. Oh my gosh, I've never had the urge like so strong to get a second gelato Like in as my soon life. as me and Lee, we like, weren't even done eating we were our first one, we're, we're like, we're going to get yeah, another we're one. Like, okay, like, I, I think I still have another one. I kind of had the feeling to get another one and then Jules did, so we're like, okay, let's get another one. Guys, chocolate orange. Guys, the riso. The riso flavor, I swear, I, I like, oh, I'm so just So creamy, obsessed. like the texture is just like, I can't describe it. It's like literally like Vivoli. silk. This gelato is Vivoli, yeah, by Vivoli. the way. Vivoli, right there. It's incredible. And it's right near so. the beautiful piazza that we were just at. So make it like a tour stop. Come here, get a gelato. You won't go wrong. You will not be sorry. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> the boys. Ponte Vecchio. Look at that view, guys. Whatever, I'll film myself. It is so magical here. There's just something about Florence that just gives you those like ancient vibes, the renaissance. It's just stunning. Did you enjoy this meal? Yes. Nikita very finally nice. got his steak and he was very happy. Go by the wall below the sign because you don't have all the lights around. Oh! Oh, so that's good. Buongiorno, guys. I am in a little cafe here that Lisa actually recommended because her and Nikita left early this morning because he really wanted to see a museum here in Florence. We've already been before, so since it's his first time, Lisa's just showing him around. So me and Attic actually slept in a little bit, and I'm about to eat a cornetto and a nice cappuccino. And then we have our wine tour after. This is what dreams are made of. And look who I found. Where did you go, guy? What what was the uh, museum called? 
Galleria degli Uffici. And it has had a lot of what? Michelangelo? Caravaggio, Leonardo da Vinci. Who else? Michelangelo, Raphael. Michelangelo, Raphael. Bertoli. Mm -hmm. I even saw a um, Chagall. Oh, for dad. Super cool. <laughs> and now we are lining up. Nikita just ate a panino and Attic is getting one. The famous spot here. Amazing. Guys, this panino is big enough to last for the whole day, La Fabulosa. Yeah, babe, try it. It's good. Uh, this place because the entrance is like the entrance then we have you know until the renaissance moment yeah so arrive to the villa to the castle to many places wow this is stunning so this one you know then we have a uh, Pizzeria plant, the bizarre plant, because every year changes color, is fruit and these flowers. Wow. Now we don't know what kind of fruit they come out the next year. <gasps> That's oh. stop on our Tuscan wine tour was a dream we were in this gorgeous villa and it was just breathtaking you'll see the footage I will link the this specific tour because I definitely recommend it guys you will love this it's just amazing just all the history you learn and everything it's and the wines were amazing the guys got a bottle what bottle did you get Keats so Anik and Nikita are getting drunk tonight <laughs> we're getting drunk every night yeah yeah I know <laughs> We're going to a monastery where Galileo Galilei taught mathematics. And this is from 800. Is that what it is? I'm not correcting. <laughs> 800. She just came up with a number and uh, stuck it in, by the way. 800. <laughs> Sounds solid. 800 it is. <laughs> Sixteen, the name this area is Chianti, only Chianti, and the same the name of the wine is produced the Chianti wine. My office. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what, what, what's it? Uh, Fresh like, water. This is the cute little yeah. winery dog spritz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some wines here. Marito and Johnny. 
Yeah. Which one's the more one? I don't know. White. We are at Piazzale Michelangelo and we are here to watch the sunset. It's the final stop on our wine tour. Yeah. Ciao from Florida! <laughs> Here guys, we just had to. Yeah.